well, ladies and gents. Looks like Walter Hamada is staying on, which is interesting for a few reasons. But it also goes to show that Ray Fisher won't be back. Unlikely, anyway, uh, as per his own statements. Now, Ray Fisher obviously plays Cyborg. Uh, it's all but confirmed, essentially, that he's not coming back for The Flash. Uh, that's done. The, it's not being recast. It's just done. Uh, but it also goes to show that that character is now done because Walter Hamada is here until at the very least 2023. Now that could change, don't get me wrong. That could absolutely change. But currently, that's where it's set. Now, this comes to us uh, basically from uh, Toby Emmerich, right? So he says that uh, Walter is not only passionate about story and the DC canon, he's also a thoughtful and incredibly talented executive who is fully committed to investing the time and care necessary for movie making on this scale. With Walter overseeing our DC movies for theatrical exhibition on HBO Max, we are excited for him and his team to bring more of these stories to life, working with new and established talent to broaden the reach and diversity of the DC cinematic universe. Interesting that they're actually calling it the DCU now. I remember it was called like the DCEU at one point. We're calling it the DCU now, ladies and gents. There you go, it's got a name. Uh, anyway, uh, continues further. We had some comments from Anne Sarnoff. Uh, Walter is an incredibly talented, well-respected executive, known by his colleagues and our filmmakers as a great collaborator. Uh, I'm excited about where he's taking DC films and look forward to working with him and the rest of the team to build out the DC multiverse. So many different, so many different names. But remember, ladies and gents, this comes to us from the great Ray Fisher. Um, now, this was a tweet he did on uh, December thirtieth. Uh, so, it says Walter Hamada is the most dangerous kind of enabler. His lies and Warner Brothers PRs failed September fourth hit piece sought to undermine the very real issue of the Justice League investigation. I will not participate in any production associated with him. So you won't be participating in any production now, at all. Uh, in fact, literally none at all. Because that's done, you've, you've made your statement loud and proud and all of the um, Ray Fisher fanboys have rallied behind you. So that's done now, you won't be back. Um, which goes further because and some of these comments by this guy are so dumb. What the fans say is canon is canon. No, it's not. Okay, you, you can have your head canon, but it's not. Unfortunately, people do have to just you know get on with it. Like that is true. Um, but anyway, so scroll past all the political uh, BS on his timeline, and then we come up to this stuff. It's weird how these reactionary announcements from Warner Brothers Pictures always forget to mention that Walter Hamada was working directly with Jeff Johns and Toby Emmerich on Shazam during Justice League reshoots. Now, and he says more soon. But dude, it's not a reactionary announcement. All you've all you've got here is deadline saying Walter Warner Brothers has extended Walter Hamada's contract. That's not a reactionary announcement. Nothing in this calls for them to say, oh, and also Ray Fisher complained about this guy and because of this. It's not relevant. You, you Ray Fisher, have no relevance to this story. You don't. I hate to break it to you, mate, but you are of infinitesimal importance to this announcement. It's on another football pitch. It's not even in the same ballpark. It's an announcement of him getting extended. Okay? You don't come into that. I know you think you do, but you don't. And it's just the... It, insert, you know, Star Trek Picard bloody meme here. You know, sheer effing hubris. Like, seriously. It's just... An, like, there's literally no point. Which actually... If you did bother to look into it, and this is the real laughable thing here, so everyone defending him, just wait a second. In 2019, Hamada oversaw production of New Line's Shazam. What, 
what was that? Ray? They always forget to mention that Walter Hamada was working on Shazam. Well, they did. But again, because your name wasn't brought up, you you, you got your, your knickers in a twist for some bizarre reason. Like, you're not important to it, mate. You're not. Um, you know. And yeah, like he, his name is actually brought up here. It says the re-up comes as Hamada's name came up during an investigation by Warner Brothers into conduct on its original Justice League after allegations from the film's co-star Ray Fisher, who played Cyborg. Uh, that director Joss Whedon's onset treatment of the cast and crew of Justice League was gross, abusive, blah, 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 blah. So they did mention it, and they did mention you, but because they're not towing the line that you're saying there's an issue now? Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, but anyway, and then we come around full circle to this. Uh, the rumours of Cyborg's recasting are a lie. Cyborg is not in The Flash. And the role is not being recast. I've confirmed this with the studio. The rumour is false. Um, okay. And this is from Mark Hughes Films. Um, who, I guess is, I mean, screenwriter, Cora top writer on HuffPost and Slate. So, we take from that what we will. Who knows whether that is the case or not. Jesus Christ, literally every one of these people's Twitter timelines are all the same. It's hilarious, isn't it? It's all the same crap. Anyway, sorry. Just found that very funny. Um, so there you go. Uh, Cyborg is not coming back to uh, Warner Brothers for some time, by the looks of it. Uh, looks like he's done. Uh, he's done in The Flash, by the looks of it, as well. I mean, he has to be done in The Flash if he sticks to what he said. If he sticks to what he said, then he won't be back. So I can believe an unsubstantiated claim that he's done. Because he said he would be done. If he's got any integrity, he won't come back, basically. Um, but there you go. Interesting. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down below. Um, Walter Hamada. Fine. Whatever. A guy high, high, high up at the top has an incredibly unlikely chance of being overly involved in any of this stuff um, that they're talking about here. They don't get involved in the grunt work, and that's what it is, it's grunt work. Day-to-day -day life, they don't get involved with. They're bureaucrats at the best of times. So let me know your thoughts down below if you're new here. Do hit subscribe. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do now with The Flash, um, but, well, there's so many other characters and it, they look like they were priming it for leaving anyway because Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, um, all these other kind of Batman and things like that appearing in it. So we'll see. We will see. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.